everyone, this is Elena Kraus and welcome to another Hero Arts card video. In today's video, I'm featuring the new uh, Meadow Heroescape stamp set, which is 6x8 stamp set and also comes with coordinating dies. So let's get started. I'm putting the stamp set away for a second and we're going to start with uh, building our background. We're going to do some ink blending and masking. And I'm using the circle infinity dies uh, to, uh, I've already pre-die cut a mask from masking paper for the moon. So I'm putting my panel, I have a two panel from Dove White cardstock. I'm going to position that a moon or circle where I want to be on my panel. My panel measures four and a quarter by five and a half. So I've positioned that uh, circle where I want to be and I'm adding the negative around it because we're going to start with ink blending the moon. I'm using the Lemon Drop Reactive Ink and ink blending brush to uh, ink blend that moon. I'm just adding around. Um, I wanted to make it darker on one side and lighter on the other. I'm quickly uh, drying the ink using my heat tool. I'm going to remove the negative of the mask and apply the positive so we don't add any ink on the moon. And we're going to do the background. I'm using combinations of purples and pinks. Uh, I'm using the following reactive ink. This is Purple Galaxy. Next we're going to go with Grape Slush, Berry Smoothie and Taffy. As you can see, I'm starting with darker ink on the top and as I'm moving to the bottom of the, of the panel, I'm going uh, with lighter ink. And also I'm going between the layers of colors to make sure that we have nice and smooth transition between the ink colors. So now I'm going with very smoothie and then we're going to add some taffy towards the bottom. You will notice that I'm not going to go all the way down to the panel because we're going to have that meadowscape on the bottom so we don't need to cover it with ink. going to ink blend between the layers and I think that's good. So now we're going to add some stars. I'm using just a paint like very tiny paintbrush and a jar of water to add little drops of water to uh, my background. This gives you the opportunity to, to add more controlled drops but if you like you can just add splatters of water to your background. Next I'll use the white iridescent, iridescent shimmer paint to add a little more um, dots or a little more stars to our background. Just adding here and there and this gives different kind of look, gives more shimmery stars so we have variation in the stars in our background. Okay, I'm using again my heat tool making sure that that ink around the moon is dry and um, we can remove that mask. Now I decided to add a brighter white stars, so I'm going in with white gel pen and adding stars around. So I think that looks good for now. Now we can move to stamping the meadow. So I will be using a little larger piece of cardstock than A2. So my piece of uh, Dove White cardstock measures four and a half by five and three quarters. I'm starting with the first layer. And I'll use uh, reactive inks to stamp all the layers. On the back of the stamp set, on the back of the packaging, you can see your, also you can see that there is a layering guide that you can follow to, um, layer all to line up all the layers. So the first one is with a uh, key lime fizz. And I'm turning it because I'll be die cutting it, I'll turn it around and I'm stamping one more time. So this will give me two images and I can save the second one for later use. Okay the first layer is done and uh, before we move to the second layer I just wanted to mention that uh, this stamp set it's very easy to line up and layer. I'm going to move to the second one and for the second one I'm using green apple. I'm stamping one more time to have brighter green or darker green, um, more intense green coverage. 
or impression. Okay, now we have two layers. Now it's time for the third layer, which are the flowers. I was going to go with blue raspberry, but then I changed my mind and I did a pool party because it was a little bit lighter. However, I noticed that the contrast between the green and the pool party wasn't uh, big enough, so I decided for the second one to use taffy. And I think that pulled together the background uh, that we just did with the meadow. So I decided to use that one for my card. Okay, now we're gonna stamp sentiment in the middle of that moon and I'm using the You're Beautiful. I'm using my um, creative corners to make sure that that sentiment is nice and straight. I'm using intensified black ink to stamp a couple times um, in the middle of that moon. Okay, now we can die cut the meadow. I'm just using repositionable tape to make sure that that's nice and secure and when I run it through my die cutting machine, it doesn't move. So by magic of YouTube, it's already die cut and now I'm using some colored pencils to color in uh, the mushrooms and the little flowers. You don't need to do this step, but um, I decided to go ahead and do it. You don't need to use colored pencils, you can use any coloring medium of your choice. I decided to go with colored pencils because those were came in handy at the moment. Okay, I think that looks nice. Okay, now I decided to stamp the two fairies that come in the stamp set. I'll stamping those, I will be stamping those in black. In, I'm using the intensified black and I'm stamping on the white cardstock. Okay, now by magic of YouTube, um, I have positioned the coordinating dice on top and by magic of YouTube, they'll be die cut just in a second. Now we have all the elements we need for our card and we can start assembling our card. I'm starting by trimming my background, my ink blending panel down to four by five and a quarter. I'm cutting off one eighth uh, of an inch from each side. And then I will trim also the meadow background uh, here escape down to four inches width. First I cut down that uh, white strip that was on the bottom and now I, uh, cut off one eighth of an inch on each side of the image. Now we can start assembling, uh, adhering everything together. I'm f adding foam tape on back of the image here, on back of the heroscape. I'm making sure that I have nice coverage with that uh, foam tape. Okay, next I'm using straight edge or you can, I'm using my uh, scoring tool or you can use your misty or any other straight edge to make sure that you adhere that nice and straight. I'm also adding foam tape on back of the fairies. And I will adhere those to my background. Okay, so now our background, our panel is done and we just need to adhere to a top folding white note card. I like adding dimension uh, to my card. So here I'm stacking four pieces of uh, white cardstock. You can also use craft foam, but I feel it's more sturdy if I use uh, cardstock. So I'm adding four pieces together to add some dimension. And then I'll add it on back of my panel. I'm using the Hero Arts Precision uh, liquid glue. And then we're going to add it to um, top of our top folding white note card. And this finishes our card. Let's take a closer look. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much for uh, watching this video. Please give us thumbs up if you like the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, visit our blog for more ideas and more inspiration. Thanks for watching. Bye.